a resume you know it's a buzz so what are the you know resume tips if somebody is appearing for a product manager role how the resume should look like uh okay so actually even the cv comes in different different formats okay like uh, more than formats it all depends from what uh, career are you planning to move to product manager are you a experienced product manager who is looking for a new job or maybe are you a ba or a developer or a qa who is looking for their first product management job okay the cv varies a lot in both these cases at least these are the two broad cases we can look at so if someone who is already experienced so first things first you know prioritization is one of the core skills of uh, a product manager and your cv is the best place to showcase what you can prioritize because over whatever number n number of uh, years of experience you have you cannot put everything in the cv okay and if you are not able to prioritize your cv you know the points to put in your cv then well your core skills will be questioned a lot but uh, the general tips remain the same no matter what type of cv you are creating whether you are transitioning into the role or just switching and you are already in role uh, it's more about uh, you know highlighting the uh, measurable impact that you have done like for example if you are product manager for a product a then by how much and if assuming then was it a b2c or a b2b product it will have different metrics right so just talk about the metrics like how much customer base did you increase did you increase the product efficiency how much did it help in uh, the you know top line growth of the company and uh, uh yeah if there were any processes that you set up in the company with regards to product management then talk about that so these are the good things for experienced product manager to highlight or you know even talk about design concepts and all like what different teams did you work with how well did you collaborate with them but all of this should at least be backed by some figures not that each and every point will have figures related to it but at least there should be some which can be you know which will help the recruiter or the hiring manager shortlist your cv and understand the impact you have had because you know product management role always uh, uh, there is a question mark on individual contribution of it right because if you look at the product manager's role it's more of a combined role where uh, his or her performance is completely dependent on the client the stakeholders as well as the uh, development team Uh, the in-house team. So the individual contribution part is something that you need to highlight uh, in your CV, and that's the tricky bit to do. I think if you're transitioning into a new, uh, I mean, if you're in some other role and transitioning into a willing to transition or thinking of transitioning into a product manager role, uh, then uh, you should put up some points in your CV, like apart from your core role, what is different that you did, like. even if you were a ba business analyst how did you help improve a product metrics or how did you go around gathering your requirements that being the core role of a business analyst and how did you translate those requirements into product documents and user stories etc or how co- closely did you work with the qa team or a developer something like that so same thing for qas and developers or even ux designers how how did their knowledge you know or how did their skill set help the product ultimately if they could highlight that with some metric uh, i think they should be good yeah so as you mentioned in the beginning that uh, you work for certain open source or non profit projects so is that worth highlighting that uh, in resume uh, yes certainly so uh, i think uh, you know these are great uh, opportunities to hone your own skills now for example for me i was working on a b2b product okay and like i said it was very specific to my domain of working with this uh, non profit organizations not only like i was able to use utilize my existing skill set but also learn many things because couple of these platforms were b2c okay so that so b2b and b2c products have very different uh, requirements and very different uh, sort of you know uh, customer engagement initiatives so understanding those becomes really helpful and at the same time uh, you know on cv i'm not sure how much uh, brownie points will they add per se like you know if there are two candidates and they are ekdam neck they are like completely neck to neck with each other just because someone has done some pro bono work it doesn't mean your cv will get shortlisted right because after all it's pro bono we are not expecting any benefit out of it but the best you can get out of it is 
being able to interact with a wider community and you yourself improving as a product manager because this pro bono things will uh, certainly uh, uh, come up with very varied scenarios uh, and test your skills compared to a set work, work culture that you have in your office nice so uh, from out of my viewers interest i'm going to ask next question is like how to crack a product manager interview <laughs> are there any tips tricks ah <laughs> uh, shortcuts so no, there are no shortcuts i, I would say it's just that uh, you know you uh, so once you are into this you you develop this um, holistic approach to things you start thinking about the minutest of thing and the you know uh, uh, the most impactful things as well so product management interviews are very tricky again depending on what type of product you are interviewing for or what type of organization you are interviewing for like it's so varied that sometimes you can just have one or two rounds and you'll get selected sometimes you might end up having six or seven rounds and in cup many scenarios you'll also be given a case study to solve so you know out of all this the core thing that a product manager or the basic bread and butter that we call of a product manager is like you know prioritization being able to solve problems and coming up with good product strategies and having a you know long term outlook of 3 to 5 years on how he or she will be able to grow the product so i think these are the skills that you should always uh, highlight on uh, there is no set format as such but there is a good book called cracking the pm interview that's a good book to you know give you a, a good understanding of what exactly happens in a product manager interview but the interviews are uh, very varied like one of my mentors he had shared his experience so actually for his interview uh, he ended up creating even flyers and everything so you know that is the level of detail that a product manager has to go to so even in my first interview it was an internal shift from being a uh, you know to uh, moving into a product manager role and since it was an internal interview i had uh, uh, i i knew the product right because and i had some details that maybe outside candidate may not have uh, but the, the thing is how you utilize the information that you have so in in this case i ended up creating a, a, a good ppt around a five to six slide ppt as to where the product is currently what can be changed in the product where it can go in next 3 to 4 years what are the long term views or short term improvements i would do if i am selected and how my skill sets ultimately you know uh, put me in a better position in becoming the product manager for that product compared to whatever competition was there so so it's just about this small small things like uh, the information that everyone has will always be more or less the same it's just how you utilize it so i think in that way a product manager uh, has to be really smart in his own interviews so the interviews are very dynamic so there is no set uh, pattern as such to crack them of course dynamic job dynamic kind of interviews <laughs> yes And indeed yes. this is the most hottest job in the market because you know everybody wants to be a product manager you know that's a trend that is happening i mean <laughs> that's the funny part actually you know many people uh, who don't understand the role think are it this is a very easy thing to do i mean there are many people in the company who think what does a product manager do i have no clue he's just on calls i should get that job so you know uh, people do try out to that but uh, uh, you know that's the reason that a product manager role like even when we were hiring once the number of applications used to range from anywhere from uh, you know 150 to 200 but uh, if we start shortlisting then you know after the first filter itself we used to get only around maybe 50 60 cvs even after that 50 60 we have come to scenarios where we interviewed only one candidate or you know sometimes not even one the reason being uh, people think this is a easy role but it's it's really not so it's certainly not <laughs> yes yeah so uh, i know i know we have talked a lot of about its dynamics and how different this role is one cannot assume the interview is going to be this way or that way but still can i expect certain questions when i appear for an interview yes certainly i mean uh, you will be grilled on your cv which is obvious and happens in every interview 
but for product management uh, interviews you'll be given couple of scenarios like for example uh, what if you want to develop a you know clock for the blind that is the most uh, uh, sort of you know uh, the oldest questions that has been go- going around in the product management interviews but uh, you can expect this sort of questions or in one of my interviews uh, i also got questioned like okay you have talked too much about you know the software product of it so let's now talk about a manufacturing product and i was told to create a dishwasher right which has nothing to do with uh, uh, our software industry or the industry we work in but uh, these questions are more to test your thought processes how logical can you be and how uh, how sound are you in your logic there can be also some estimation questions like you know how many pizzas are consumed in california in one day or maybe how many uh, tennis balls will be required to fill up a complete room uh, so it's it's the product manager's job to understand these requirements drill them down and come up with this so these are broadly categorized into scenario based questions the ones we discussed previously like developing a new product or something like that and then estimation based questions so again there are no right or wrong answers okay but it's more about your thought process so when answering these questions always make sure that first of all you take a couple of seconds or even a minute to understand the problem properly whatever clarifying questions you want to ask you ask them and then uh, you know don't just throw out a answer like for example what are the number of pizzas consumed in california don't come up with a number no one knows it and even if you give the right number no one will be able to validate it but at least come up with some logic behind it right and talk the interviewer through your logic so that's how you can do it and then you'll get a lot of questions on the logic itself yeah i mean very tricky take away from what you answered is like there is no proper set of questions that one can expect second thing mm-hmm. there is no right and wrong in your answer it's just your ideology the thought process that's what matters maybe yes that's for the core interview now as a product manager you have if you are interviewing for a product manager position you have to attempt multiple interviews some of these interviews are with the director of engineering or the cto of the company depending on the size and uh, you know what stage that company is in or many times you'll also talk to the ux manager so all these interviews you have to approach in a different way now uh, i cannot go to a ux interview and talk about maybe you know <clears throat> be uh, writing a story or prioritizing stuff he will want to understand my understanding about design com- concepts user journeys user user maps etc so that is how you prepare for that interview if i go to a uh, you know uh, a director of engineering or engineering manager interview round Uh, then uh, in that interview round i cannot again uh, talk about basic product management i'll have to showcase my skill as to how good am i technically sound obviously no one will ask me to code anything but at least they will like to understand am i able to communicate with the developers in their own language like for example if some product is using java i should at least know something about java it should not be alien to me uh then same way if i go to a qa manager round then the qa manager round will you'll have to uh, you know uh, approach it in a different way like how are test cases written how what is test automation how can you track its coverage how does that test automation fit into your road map so each interview you have to approach in a different way and uh, as a product manager you have to uh, you know it's uh it's a norm that you have to go through at least four or five rounds with each and every department head or uh, you know the leaders in that department depending on the size of the company again we are covering so much of good information all thanks to you thank you no so, problem um, i'm happy to do that i mean it's going to help so many so moving on talking about certifications uh what is the role of certifications in a product manager a role uh certifications are good to have uh, depending on what certification you are doing there are many certifications in the industry again just because you have a certification you are not going to get the job okay it's it's uh uh and i'm sure that doesn't happen anywhere like even in if you are a developer qa just because you did a certification doesn't mean you are going to get the job but the main uh 
you know uh, importance or the main advantage that you can get from these certifications is you can if these are classroom based certifications they really help because then you connect with 20 30 different people of who are in the same profession and everyone has a different idea so as a product manager it's always very important to uh, enhance your thought processes and op- be open to new ideas new thought processes because that is what is ultimately going to help you but uh, you know just doing some courses online like coursera or udemy or even linkedin learning etc are good but uh, they uh, good for for basics and frameworks and understanding the role of a product manager uh, but if you actually want to take some benefit out of this uh, do attend some classroom training so there are uh, i think one is cspo which i've done myself certified scrum product owner and then there are some advanced ones in the similar lines uh, they, those should be good enough but more than the certification it's the interaction that has holds more value so always be sure that the trainer is also very well uh, experienced or an industry expert who is conducting the training okay so i was about to ask like what are all the certifications that you would suggest um to do uh it depends i mean uh, like if you're transitioning into a role of a product manager then uh, i think you can just do some online courses to get your understanding right and start practicing those concepts or frameworks if you are already a product manager and then you think i need a certification then you can go for cspo and other certifications uh, there are some job oriented courses as well in the industry which uh, help you train become a product manager and then you have to pay the fees uh, only after you get selected something called as income share agreement courses and all so those are also there you can search and pick up those pick up on those as well uh, but it all comes down to why do you want to do the course something like cspo which is recognized internationally that's a good certification to have on your cv internationally recognized it is right yeah, yeah. so you know uh, nowadays uh, freshers are proactive uh, they know what kind of jobs and everything exist in the market and also they have their own set of ambitions to become one so uh, do you think a fresher can right away become a product manager or does that take some sort of experience before he actually becomes one uh it depends what stream they are coming from and if what how good is their thought process it's difficult to become a product manager as a fresher uh, but there are some uh, you know um, uh, institutes like uh, the cream institutes we call them who are known to offer uh, 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 pm jobs to freshers generally even companies which are like google and apple they have their own product manager program so you start as a intern you get a lot of training and everything and then they decide whether you are actually fit for the role or not but the amount of roles and responsibilities will only grow with your experience so you know right as a fresher you will not uh, be handed over to prioritize anything uh, you know or even uh, talk about business decisions and strategies or features and enhancements uh, your role will be very limited to the specific requirement of the organization so it's not like you cannot as a fresher get into it it's a very uphill battle the best way to get into this will either be uh, you know getting some experience as a business analyst uh, analyst then grow to business analyst so on and so forth uh, i find that uh, path to be more closely related uh, but having said that you can also like if your core uh, skill is that of development or qa you can first uh, you know be in that profession and then slowly move to becoming a product manager but yeah it's it's very tough uh, uh, to get this job as a fresher until and unless another way to do this is maybe in your summer internships and all you actually go and find a internship which lets you work in the capacity of a product manager okay and there are like certain uh, designations as you move and proceed in your career path it's like the assistant to mid senior level to senior like it it usually it works in you know if you are a developer administrator does that work the same way in a product management side ah uh, yes so generally you start out as a an analyst or associate analyst and then move to a business analyst then senior business then lead then principal then i think associate product manager 
then product manager senior so it it goes on increasing the hierarchy but then again uh, at least in indian uh, companies like indian it scenario the uh, designations uh, vary a lot uh, it again go depends on organization to organization Absolutely. like for example yeah some organization will uh, with uh, will maybe a candidate comes in with 6 or 7 years of experience he will be offered a senior business analyst role because that is how the hierarchy is set in that organization but the same candidate somewhere else might get a associate product manager or a product manager position as well Yeah. So completely so, depends upon the organizations how they may Yeah completely that. depends on the organization and the quality of experience you have and how well do you appear you know crack your interview Yeah I I like the word you used quality of experience and not years <laughs> of experience Yes yes that that matters a lot especially in this okay. because if we have to compare again uh, no disrespect to any stream but a java developer for 9 years is always going to be a java developer you know and that is uh, what itself shows the quality of his experience but for a product manager uh, just because some product manager has say 6 or 7 years of experience now let's say there is a candidate who has 7 years of experience completely in product management itself but mostly into b2b products now he is interviewing for a b2c product the company might feel that this experience is not relevant so that's why the quality matters a lot absolutely great we are going great <laughs> so uh like you know very typical question again but everything that comes into my mind i have put it across you know <laughs> i i think i'll clear it out <laughs> so uh when you look at the personality traits of somebody you know naturally it personality traits and uh, they come naturally yeah are there any specific things that i look out in me that i think that i can be a product manager you know mm-hmm. these are some yeah traits maybe uh, i don't know how to put it forward but you understand uh, it <laughs> yeah i think uh, you know um uh, uh, being balanced you know not uh, being uh, reactive uh, like when i say being balanced and not being reactive what it means is uh, no matter what the situation uh, should be able to uh, you know control your natural emotions because there are many times where we want to get into the meeting room and maybe just you know have a go at someone who is not listening to us or is arguing a lot with us and uh, or maybe get into a meeting with again someone else and just give them a piece of our mind and get things done but that is not how or what you can do so being balanced and having a very uh, what do you say a zen like approach helps a lot so and uh, second thing we already discussed is you have to be a people's person because uh, this uh, requires so much energy and involvement and uh, everything at a uh, different different levels so if you are not a people's person by nature uh, you will find it difficult uh, in this job and i think the third uh, trait uh, will be uh, you know being able to uh, remain uh, sort of uh, uh, what do you say uh, being able to have a holistic view on things so when i say holistic view is uh, your thought process in general should uh, encompass uh, having uh, a different uh, Uh, you know different approaches or if if a problem is given to you naturally you should be able to think of it from at least 10 different angles or you should at least be able to come up with five six different scenarios because there is always uh, you know uh, different different ways to uh, solve a problem and if i have to quote something from a famous series i think it suits that uh, where you know i forget the character's name but the a uh, guy keeps saying that gun to your head you will always find 146 solutions to a problem so <laughs> and it's a twist job as in you know you need to be empathetic since saying that you know you have to represent yourself your team being a people's representative sometimes you have to be you know using your heart maybe over your brains because you have to understand people's yes. problems and maybe find a solution to that very nice job yeah i mean uh, you know the irony of it is you expect product manager to be empathetic to everyone but no one is to him or her so you know that that irony there so but it's fun it's fun yeah 
so um, like you know we covered so many interesting things uh, if somebody mm-hmm. is eventually realizes that i want to be a product manager from absolutely different uh, career zone mm-hmm. is there a scope to do that yes there is there is so you know uh, i always believe that there is a bit of product management in everyone it's just that you need to bring it out so whatever exp- like even a, a, a you know a customer success manager they ultimately daily deal with customers right so even they can be a product manager a sales representative who again goes out in the field and uh, talks to product manager or uh, uh, sorry customers even he has ultimately gained that skill to understand the need of the customer correct so everyone has one or two skills at least in them uh, uh, which can help them become a product manager but uh, cracking the interview becomes a bit difficult because you know if you are coming right from a different background into a product management then you need to understand that your competition is going to be someone who is already a product manager or who is coming with a similar background so you know in comparison uh this uh, people who are trying to switch might tend to lose out okay in very odd scenarios they will still get selected if they show uh, like uh, amazing knowledge about this field and the thought processes are really matured in a way uh, but having said that if someone wants to transition then someone should not be fixed on the position even if uh, maybe someone gets assigned a ba or a senior ba position and their ultimate goal is to be in the product vertical or work as a product management a couple of levels taking a demotion a couple of levels it should not be an issue okay if you are really passionate about it that also gives, always- uh, yes that's true and it also gives you a breathing space or a runway right because if you are directly put uh, on the in the spotlight and you don't have that composure or experience life becomes really difficult because instead of being a product manager for 3 months uh, anyone would prefer being a business analyst for 3 years right i mean you don't want to get fired in your profession <laughs> and do you think certifications helps uh from a different uh, profession i was just thinking out loud and you know if somebody wants to be a product manager uh from a different stream maybe certification can help them understand the role properly yes it will certainly uh, especially certifications and having a good mentor three to four different mentors and they have been really helpful like i really owe it to them uh for me having so much understanding and everything uh but uh, having a good mentor really helps and uh, certifications also help just that uh, you know as we discussed earlier just because you have a certification doesn't mean you'll get a job but it will help you uh, understand the basic uh, things in uh, in product management and help you evolve your thought process which ultimately if used properly or if ultimately you know uh, put to good uh, sort of a good imp- like implemented properly will help you crack those interviews yeah so certifications will help you understand what a product manager does or maybe the framework but to think like a product manager is something that completely your yeah journey. your journey or you you know if uh, and you need lot of guidance so uh, having a good mentor helps yeah with that i think we have covered so much uh, yes. around everything we have touched every corner isn't it yeah we we covered uh, in quite a bit of depth uh, but uh, i do hope it's interesting for everyone who watches and uh, they at least get some good takeaways from this if nothing else at least they come to a decision whether they want to be a product manager or not absolutely yes. i mean if also if they have certain questions uh, they can put it so you know maybe if we have left some point to touch um, we can certainly uh, cover it sure. if anybody has any questions sure yes any time and i think uh, you yeah. know uh, yeah i mean you will be able to answer them in comments or i think both of us can be reached out on linkedin as well so uh, yeah they have multiple avenues to post their questions yeah I I think I I will give your uh, LinkedIn profile sure so that maybe they can reach out to you if they need any assistance sure. or help any guidance because why not you know 
taking a grip out of your whole lot of experience is something that is worth. Oh, certainly, I mean, yeah, uh, I am always ready to help anyone who reaches out, and uh, uh, it would be fun uh, to even talk to them. Not an issue. I am a real example because I am somebody who reached out to you, and you helped me like nobody else. So thank you so much for that. Oh, it's it's all good. I'm happy that you know. Uh, it you found something meaningful out of all of this, and I I do hope you you make good progress in your career on this line. Absolutely, it helps me, and I am so motivated that I I just wanted to have you on my channel because uh, whatever I got to know from you, I wish people will would like you know. They, I wanted them to listen to you because you have so much to share. So well, thank you for having me. This is the first time I'm doing it, and you know, like I already told you, I questioned it a couple of times. That are you sure you have the right person here? Because you know, uh, there are many people who might know much more than me. But yeah, I mean, I'm always open to sharing whatever I know. So it's. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, are there any last words you want to say, or just goodbye, uh... everybody? <laughs> yeah i think simple goodbye but um, uh, again uh, you know it's a fun role i enjoy doing it if you enjoy it as much as i do probably you might end up being a very good or a successful product manager absolutely so uh, our wishes to you any questions please let us know we'd be happy to answer and yeah thanks so much for watching and until next time bye bye thank you bye bye